Hey, welcome to Guitar Battle number three, and boy, do we have one here. It is going to be Michael Shanker versus Kirk Hammett. And the interesting thing about this matchup, of course, is that Kirk Hammett is immensely influenced by Michael Schenker. There's another factor here, which is that because Schenker, while he's still active, he's not nearly as famous as Kirk. So there could be an element of a popularity contest here, but this is the luck of the draw and this is how it goes down. So briefly, I'm gonna to touch on my three points for each guitarist and then I'm gonna leave it up to the poll and the comment section. So with Schenker, first thing you have to mention as a strength of him as a guitar player is his phrasing. He is one of the most imaginative guitarists out there. He has an imagination of how to string notes together that rivals Jimmy Page, but unlike Jimmy Page, he's a much more precise guitar player and unlike Jimmy Page he's not a blues based guitar player I'm not saying that he doesn't partake of blues playing and he doesn't bend but I'm saying he's more of a neoclassical player the second thing I would mention for Michael Schenker in terms of why I think he's a great guitarist is his control over the wah pedal. He found this very interesting way of using wah wah pedal to find shades of tone for his guitar without making the pedal do the traditional wah wah sound but just find little sweet spots to play with and that along with his use of string bending and his picking techniques allow him this huge range of sounds. Third element that I would mention for Schenker is his excitement and speed. So that sounds like, well, every player has excitement and speed, yes, but Michael has a control over that that's almost simultaneous. So better than virtually any guitarist I can think of. So, but you basically have a, someone with the emotional capacity to hit as hard as David Gilmour, but with like the technical capacity of someone more like Eddie Van Halen, although he doesn't play like Eddie. All right, now let's move on to Kurt. The first thing that I would say stands out in Kirk Hammett's playing is his ability to play over very difficult tracks. He has to play over really fast backing tracks with strange time changes and very odd key changes sometimes. In fact, there's a lot of chromatic stuff that happens in um, Hetfield's riffs that Kirk has to solo over and somehow make it sound sensible. And for a lot of guitarists, this would be really hard to do and it might just sound like they were playing right over the top of it with no regard at all for what's happening underneath. And Yngwie Malmsteen is like, well, maybe he would have been a better fit, someone like that, for Metallica rather than Kirk. But I think that this is why Kirk is actually a better player because he doesn't trample over the song. He tries to rest his lead playing within the basis of the backing track, which isn't easy to do in a band like Metallica. The second thing I would mention about him that's interesting, he has this tendency to combine like really really dirty playing and really melodic playing at this in the same solo here his ability to thread melody through what it essentially is like a vicious approach on the guitar there aren't really that many guitar players that can do that perhaps this has something to do with all the studying he did with Joe Satriani you know maybe it does maybe it doesn't and then my third thing that I would mention for Kirk that I think is really important to note in his guitar playing is his rhythm playing uh, he's got to play everything that James plays but he also has to play the leads all of the solo Michael Schenker albums and you just isolate the rhythm there's nothing even remotely approaching the complexity of just something on one metallic album like say take injustice for all the riffs and the complexity of the songs and the arrangements are much much more demanding and so Kirk deserves a little bit of credit for his rhythm playing and so that's my take on the two guitars and I'm looking forward to hear what you have to say so if you have a thought on this or any other topic related to classic or contemporary music go ahead and leave uh, your thoughts in the section below and remember to like and subscribe thanks a lot